I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series. And uh, this time we have a brilliant question from one of our subscriber, Vibha. Vibha, thanks a lot for posting this brilliant question. I don't know from where you got it. The question here is: If one four a b five two three four three is divisible by thirty seven, is divisible by thirty seven. Find the value of A and B. Amazing. Well, I'll make an attempt to find the solution. You should know that most of my students do not even know the divisibility rule by seven. So I'll need to explain it at length so that we can come out with suitable values of A and B. Right. So let's look into it. So there is thirty-seven is a very special number. To find a multiple of thirty-seven, what we normally do is we multiply the unit place by eleven. So the steps involved are unit place by eleven, and then you take away, take away that. From number, and this is an iterative process. So, kind of repeat it till end. So, so till end. So, what I'm trying to say here is, end here means uh, you'll be left with last two or three digits. Uh, in that case, check. If remaining number is divisible by thirty-seven or not, so something like this, the rule goes. It's too complicated to even explain. So what I will do here, basically, uh, let's start the process. So we'll. We'll just begin. So we have this beautiful number here: one, four, a, b, five, two, three, four, three. So the first step involved is we will multiply three by eleven. So we get thirty-three, and we'll take away this thirty-three from remaining number. Do you see that process? So that is the first step. So we times three by eleven, we get thirty-three. We'll take away thirty-three from rest of the number. So when you take away, you get what? You get one zero two five p a four and one. You get the idea. Now again, we'll repeat this process. Unit place number is one. We'll multiply one with eleven, so we get eleven, and we'll again take away. So we are taking away this number, right? So difference. <clears throat> so we get nine. This is zero. Five. B. A. Fourteen and one. This time, eleven times nine is ninety-nine. So we'll take away ninety-nine. You with me on this, right? So ten take away nine is one. We have already borrowed one, so we got fourteen. Take away nine is five. We borrowed from b, so this becomes b minus one. That is the complexity involved, and I think that is. Why the question has come here, right? So now we don't know how to go about, right? We have something like b minus one. Anyway, we can go one more step. One times eleven is eleven, so we'll take away eleven now. Then what do we have? Five minus one is four. We get b minus two. Still, we can work, right? Okay. This time. Well, we have four, so we have to take away four now. So when we take away four, what do we get? 
when we take away 4 we get b minus 6 a minus 4 and we have 14 here what should we do next so till now I think the steps are clear unit place has been multiplied by 11 and rest of the number find difference with 11 right so each step we are just taking away that 11 multiple is that okay and we get to this result now what can we do so some thinking process the number which we have is 1 4 a minus 4 and b minus 6 we are looking for multiples of 37 so what is a three digit multiple of 37 let's multiply by 3 3 times 7 is 21 2 so we get 1 1 1 so if I'm looking for a multiple of 37 I'm expecting the difference to be 1 1 1 only then this is a multiple you get an idea okay so we are doing reverse calculation so the at this stage we are doing reverse calculation to get 1 I should subtract 3 so I have to take away 3 rather 33 because we have to have a multiple of 11 to get 11 uh, 1 1 1 you get an idea right so that means we get the value of a as a minus 4 minus 3 should be equal to 1 so a should be equal to 1 plus 4 plus 3 which is 8 so we get one value at least how do you get b well why should I multiply with some number and get 33 well the rule is that this is possible only if this number here is also equal to 3 right 3 times 11 is 33 so that is the rule okay so that means that b minus 6 should be equal to 3 and b should be equal to 3 plus 6 which is 9 you get an idea so we get our answer a equals to 8 and b equals to 9 isn't that amazing so the number should be 1 4 8 9 5 2 3 4 3 let us check if it is really divisible by 37 finally it is a good idea to check our result so let's divide 1 4 8 9 5 2 3 4 3 with 37 what do we get we do get a whole number right so if I divide this by 37 I do get 4 0 2 5 7 3 9 so that means the answer is absolutely correct I hope you enjoyed the process it is a bit tricky but it works so let me again thank Weba for posting this brilliant question and I hope all of you enjoyed the solution and some tricky mathematics which was used at the end to evaluate the value of A and B. Feel free to share the solution of this with your friends. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks again and all the best.